today we're going to be learning how to work with PDF Kit in your iOS apps. Particularly, we'll take a look at PDF View to load and display a PDF in your app, PDF thumbnail views, delegates, how to create documents with your own pages, etc, etc. If that sounds good, drop a like down below, hit subscribe so that YouTube can push out the video to as many as possible. Let's get into the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS and I'm gonna give this project a name of PDF kit demo. Let's set the language to Swift here. And for today's video, we're gonna be working with UI kits, but feel free to uh, go ahead and give this a go in Swift UI as well. So let's continue. I'll toss it onto my desktop. And the first thing that we're gonna want to do is bring in a PDF document that we're gonna work with in our project. So I went ahead and grabbed this document from online. It just outlines some Swift UI essentials, a little irrelevant what the document is, but I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it on in. And when you get the box here to uh, bring it in, make sure this first checkbox is checked to copy items if needed. And once you've got that done, we can close this right panel and expand our Xcode window. Also gonna pick a simulator to give it a run in. Now let's just go ahead and hit the play button to make sure our project is in fact building and uh, successfully launching in our simulator. So bear with my simulator here and then we'll get into the weeds of PDF kit. All right, so it looks like simulator is playing nice. There it is. Let's jump into our view controller here and we're going to import PDF kit and talk about what's available in it. So Apple introduced PDF kit. Uh, as the name implies, to allow you to more easily uh, interact with PDF documents. Now, whether that means combining pages to make a document, converting an image to a document, uh, you know, editing, et cetera, et cetera, also viewing a PDF, it makes your life really easy to do all of the above. So there are a couple things we wanna talk about. The first thing is a object for a document itself, and then we have a couple of views. So we're gonna start with the views since you know visuals are fairly easy to reason about. The first thing we're gonna do is create a PDF view, which is, I believe, just a PDF view. And there are two types. There is a thumbnail view, which is a little indicator. Usually you see this to quickly scrub through pages. And then there's the actual view itself, which gets created uh, you know, with a frame, pretty standard. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna to toss this up here into the global space. We'll go ahead and add it as a sub view like so. And of course you wanna give it a frame. So I'm gonna override view, did layout, sub views, super view, did layout, sub views. And we're gonna say PDF view dot frame is gonna be view dot bounce. Now the next question you might be wondering is, well, how the heck do I stick a document in here? Well, you can actually simply uh, uh, basically declare a document property and assign this to a PDF document. Now this PDF document is a fresh document. This is how you create a fresh brand new document and I'm gonna put it down here. But in our case, what we wanna actually go ahead and do is load in the SwiftUI.PDF document that we've brought in right here, which is a fairly lengthy SwiftUI you know, document. So how do we do that? Uh, in our case, we're simply gonna get the URL to it and pass that into the initializer of the document here, like this, like so. And uh, this is gonna return to us, if you take a look at the initializer, it's actually gonna return to us a optional PDF document. So we wanna make sure that we unwrap it. And the reason it returns optional is because you might have passed in a URL to you know, an MP3 or something that's not a PDF, which is no good. So we're gonna go ahead and say URL is going to be bundle, uh, let's see, bundle.main.url, and we wanna get a URL for a particular resource. So we're gonna say URL for resource with extension. And the resource here is called SwiftUI. And the extension is a PDF. And I believe this is also gonna give us a optional URL back. And if you start typing it, you're gonna see it is in fact optional. So we're gonna go ahead and unwrap it like so. Next up, once we have got this URL, we wanna create a document. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna keep them in separate uh, you know, guard 
uh, statements here so we can see if one of them fails, what specifically failed. So we'll go ahead and say PDF document with a URL, pass in that URL. And again, it's optional. So we are going to go ahead and put it in that uh, unwrap here with this guard statement. And now that we've got this document, we're going to say PDF view document is said document. So let's see if we have any errors. We shouldn't hopefully. Let's go ahead and give it a run and let's see what we end up seeing on our device. So hopefully we see something. If we don't see anything, that leads me to believe we're going into one of the guard statements, but it looks like we see our document. So here is our PDF document. Basically what you would expect to see, you know, if you were using any type of semi-competent app that deals with files. So we can pan through all of the pages. In fact, you can actually select content on here. I can't exactly do it on the simulator, but it is an option. Now, I want to go a little deeper into the weeds of what else you can do with this PDF view. So PDF view also has a way where you can specify annotations, area of selection, scaling, you know, the standard stuff like background color. But the more interesting thing is uh, the fact that there is a delegate on here and we're going to assign the delegate to be self. And you just want to make sure your conformance here also includes the PDF view delegates. And let's go ahead and click into it so you guys can see all the things that are available to you. So there's things like PDF view will click on a link. So one really cool thing about, you know, PDF views in PDF kit is they are interactive out of the box. So if you ever, you know, added a link to your PDF document, it is selectable here. So definitely pretty cool. There is a, you know, parent view controller to get to the, you know, the view controller that holds the PDF. There's also a perform find, and obviously you have nice description comments here for each of these. Uh, let's see, these are the main ones that you are, you know, that are available to you at your disposal. Uh, there's quite a few other ones as well that you can, you know, other custom, uh, custom functionality that you could go ahead and implement. However, let's see, let's make sure this error goes away. However, you would probably need to implement them in a more custom fashion. So on the PDF view, if memory serves, there is also a way to specify uh, a thumbnail. So let's see, uh, rather not thumbnail pages is what I'm looking for. So you can actually get the current page and you can split up all of the pages in the PDF document. So you can even get visible pages. You can get, you know, you can allow it to uh, specify page breaks. And what's interesting about this is if you ever, you know, used a framework to allow the user to scan documents, if you ever came across one of those apps where it just continuously scans documents and then it stitches them together and gives you a final PDF, this is, you know, pretty, pretty confidently, this is how they're probably achieving it or something similar to this. When you have a bunch of documents um, or a bunch of pages, you can create a document of your own. So let's take a quick workflow look at that. So let's say we want to create a new document. We would create a PDF document. And on this new document, we should be able to insert pages. Now, what exactly is a page? Well, a page represents a single page in the document. Makes, makes sense, hopefully. And we're going to create that above. And the first thing, the other thing we have to supply here is a uh, index. Basically, at what position do we want to insert that page? Now, if we take a look at how to create a page, you'll see here that there are, you know, basically a single option. You can either create it with an image or you can create a PDF page with the data in a pretty hacky way. But an image is generally the simplest way to go about doing this. So I'm going to create an image here. And we're going to leverage uh, SF symbols just to get a glimpse of what this is going to actually look like in the wild when you're using, you know, a camera to perhaps scan documents. And instead of assigning the PDF document here as our Swift UI document, I'm going to assign the new document that we're creating. So let's go ahead and give this a run. I don't remember if uh, we do need to specify zero here for the first index. Let's see why this is yelling at me and we'll, we'll take a look. So this probably needs to be mutable. And let's see, this is saying value of optional type PDF page. So we should probably go ahead and unwrap this. So I'm going to say guard let page is going to equal uh, the PDF page that we're creating. Go ahead and do a return. Let's go ahead and give it a run. Let's see if we see our single image uh, in the PDF document. If we don't see it and something crashes, chances are something went wrong, which in our case looks like something did go wrong. So let's take a look as to what is going on. So let's see, uh, NS array insert object at index one is beyond the range. So this is what I was talking about earlier. We probably want to insert the first PDF page 
at the zeroth position since it is uh, enumerated from zero upwards. So we'll go ahead and do that and it looks like we can actually make this a constant and the insert function is still available to us. So go ahead and give it a run and let's cross our fingers and hopefully it decides to work this time. All right, so there is our PDF page. The house icon is extremely small, but hopefully everyone can see that there. It is you know visible and we have a PDF document that we've created with a image as the you know first page in it. And the power of PDF kit really honestly is the fact that you can annotate stuff on here and then you can use PDF, which is a pretty common standard to share the file via email or airdrop or you know all the variety of uh, mediums that are available to you to share a document so very quick brief video on pdf kits let me know if you guys have any particular questions i believe some of you were interested in this and have been asking for a while and as i promised um, i wanted to get to it uh, sooner rather than later so thanks again for watching if you haven't dropped a like drop a like down below subscribe if you're into swift swift ui other tech videos and comments if you have any questions thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one